Hey everyone, Cody here, and I probably just have a quick video for you for you today. I uh, I just did the video where I did the Pollock style painting on canvas. So if you haven't seen that, go go watch that video after this one, I guess. But I had a lot of paint left over. I, well, not a lot, but I had the black, the white, and I made some turquoise paint that I was going to use in the painting, but then like I decided against it. Um, so because of that, I I hate wasting paint. You know, just it bothers me to, to buy paint and then waste it. So I figured, hey, I'll just do a dabbed painting with it. So that's what I've got for you today is a dabbed painting of turquoise black and white. So let's go ahead and do it. We're just going to pour the paint onto this little piece of paper. Now, and this is actually acrylic paper, which I've also never used before. So when I went to the store, I picked up a bunch of things that I never really had used or used in a certain way. So this is actually acrylic paper. Normally what I would use is watercolor paper or mixed media paper, but they kind of buckle or, or bend under the weight. So I kind of wanted to try acrylic paper, especially since I'm actually using acrylic paint as opposed to gloss enamel. So that's what we're gonna do today. We'll go ahead and jump into it. So normally if you haven't watched any of these videos before, the way I make these dab paintings is I will pour the paint onto the canvas or the paper and then um, what I'll do is I'm basically going to crush the paint uh, with a piece of corrugated plastic, which I will show you in just a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and put the paint in different areas to kind of fill the paper. Um, and probably need more turquoise, which is fine because I want to use quite a bit of turquoise. And this, this paint, if you haven't watched that video, this paint is actually diluted. So this is acrylic paint. It's, uh, it's Liquitex Basics. So it's this kind of paint right here. Got it at Michaels and it's thinned out. So I just added water until it kind of had this consistency where it, it kind of runs off pretty, pretty easily. Um, so that's just so you know what type of paint I'm using. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of the turquoise just cause I kind of, I really want it to be kind of the, the big thing here. And then that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and crush the paint. This is an easy type of, I kind of fell into this painting, so I would say that I, I created it in a way. Um, if I didn't, I just haven't seen it really elsewhere, but it's a very easy abstract painting type that you can do if you want to make your own paintings. So what we do is we just kind of start with the paint and we kind of crush it to fill the gaps. And you can kind of just do the one color and then fill the painting that way and then kind of bleed into the other colors uh, as you go. Or you can kind of take one color and pull it into another color and you can make the painting a little more dynamic by doing that. I like doing that just because it, it creates like a really colorful, really vibrant, movement heavy painting by doing that. The only problem with going over the colors multiple times is that they start to they start to mix together and sometimes they'll make gray or something like that that doesn't look as good. Um, but yeah, I mean that's it. That that's the whole painting. Um, it looks like the whole painting is covered with paint. So that's it. I mean that that's the whole painting, guys. Um, so. I like making these paintings because they're they're very dynamic. Um, they're but they're also like easy and they're fun for me to make because it just looks so cool with the movement that's in there. So now we'll go ahead and I take the the painting off so that it one it doesn't stick to uh, my surface here, but two uh, to give it a border, which it looks like the paint bled under the tape, so it may have not even have served a purpose. But I generally, if I sell them framed, I'll sell them kind of matted so you don't see the edges anyway. Um, or if I just sell the, the painting as is, um, I'll tell whoever I sell it to to get um, a matted frame so that it covers the edges anyway. So, I mean, you're really not going to see the edges or, I mean, I wouldn't suggest it. Just like for like that, how it kind of came up a little bit, it didn't, um, it didn't go all the way across. So like the, because of the tape, I was using masking tape. Masking tape sometimes is too, it'll stick to the paper and, and rip it. It's not a big deal, again, because it's on the edge. But what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in 
with with the the paint itself that we used so i'm going to put that back over it and kind of fill in the gaps there so now even if if they get a mat that's just over that side it's still going to be a whole painting uh but that's it guys that's that's the whole that's the whole thing man it's a it's a super easy painting technique that i love doing just because it, it looks super cool it's super easy to make and uh and i think it looks good so i'm gonna i'll go ahead and zoom in for you guys let me take my glove off here and you guys can see it wow it's only been five minutes it's a short video um and that's it so that's it from afar this light doesn't really do it any justice uh but i'll go ahead and go over it so you can kind of see the intricacies of it and you can see like the waves that it makes like the currents almost and it just looks so awesome um so that's it i mean diluted paint and uh just use corrugated plastic something you can get at home depot cut it in a little square or whatever shape you want and then just kind of pat the paint over and over until it makes this uh, this cool looking design but that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like rate share subscribe and uh if you want to buy any original paintings they're on my website but i'll catch you guys in another video take care guys bye hey cody here Thanks again for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider leaving a comment, a like, or sharing the video with someone else. And also, if you did like this video and you want to see more videos in the future, consider subscribing or turning on notifications. Lastly, if you like the painting that you saw in this video or any of the videos you've seen, many of them are for sale and you can see what available paintings um, are available for purchase by visiting my website, CodySchwabi.com. There is a link in the description below. That is all. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care, guys.